I've got my zooming machine right here, which it's not running just for demonstration purposes. And I've got my main phone right here. And now it's just a coincidence that they're both Androids, but I'm going to show you how we can remotely access this sender phone from your main phone while you're away from home. TeamViewer works across all platforms, so that means if your main phone is an iPhone, you'll still be able to access this zooming machine while you're away from home. This will let you check in on the Robotmon script or stop the script so you can play on your main phone, anything like that. TeamViewer also works on desktop computers if you're running an emulator like Knox or Bluestacks. You can install TeamViewer within the emulator itself, or you can install TeamViewer on the whole desktop computer itself, which will let you control your whole computer from your main cell phone while you're away from home. Another good remote desktop app to access your laptop or computer that's running Knox or Bluestacks is simply called Google Remote Desktop. That's what I used to use when I ran Knox on a Windows laptop. But today, we're just going to focus on using TeamViewer to access this zooming machine from our main phone, iPhone or Android, while we're away from home. The first step, we're going to focus on the sender phone itself, and we need to download TeamViewer Host. So open the Google Play Store and search for TeamViewer Host. Make sure it is TeamViewer Host on its own, just like this. There are a couple other TeamViewer apps that'll pop up while you're searching, but we only need TeamViewer Host on the Zooming Machine Sender phone. We're going to install that right now. Once you have TeamViewer Host downloaded and installed, go ahead and open it up. This next dialog is important. We need to download this add-on. This add-on is going to let us remotely control the phone. Tap on download. And here's the add-on for the Alcatel. And install it. Back to the TeamViewer home screen. If you're completely new to TeamViewer and you don't have an account, you can simply sign up right here from within the app. Now once you've signed up, you can come back to Assign Device and simply log into the account you just created and assign the phone. You should now reach this screen. It says Ready to Connect, Secure Connection. What we need to do next is go into the settings right here. Tap on Advanced and go up here to eco mode turn this off disable this this causes problems when trying to access this phone if the screen ever turns off everything else you can leave alone this next part is pretty important before we start connecting to our sender phone our zooming machine we need to go into the android settings and go under the app section right here and scroll over to restricted right here and make sure we uncheck host and the quick support add-on. Don't restrict these apps or else the phone is going to keep killing the process and you won't be able to properly connect to it. So once we've unrestricted those apps, we can go back to the home screen and open up the TeamViewer host app and make sure that it's ready to connect with the secure connection. And now we can focus on the main phone. Here on my main phone, which is an Android, so I'm using the Google Play Store, I've searched for TeamViewer for Remote Control. This is the app that we want to install on our main phone. So either search for that in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Go ahead and install it. Open TeamViewer and get to the home screen here. This is the TeamViewer main home screen. Now to get to the login, it's down here, little contact icon. And here you can log in with the account that you created on the sender phone. Once you log in, you'll be greeted with this My Computers menu, and if you open this up, you'll see that your Alcatel Ideal is listed as online and ready to connect. If it said it was offline, simply come over to the sender phone and open up the host app and make sure you have ready to connect, secure connection. From here on out, it's pretty straightforward. In order to connect to the phone, you open up the Computers menu and tap the little blue arrows and get the external connection outgoing message. and you're now connected. Your main cell phone does not necessarily need to be connected to Wi-Fi in order for this to work. 
because you can connect over cell phone LTE data. The controls are mirrored, we can go back to the home screen and from here you can do whatever you need to do, whether it's stop the script or open the launcher, you can open Robomon, everything. Everything is mirrored on the screen and the best way to disconnect from this is using the controls down here in the bottom right and tap the little white X right here. Confirm that you're closing the connection and you'll get a message about it being a sponsored session. It's a free app. Thank you for being honest and not using it for business use. And that's it.